And with a new school year comes new changes. In fact, KDISD implementing a new incredible system for student bus riders to track when a child is getting on and off a bus. Big relief for mamas out yes. there. CW39 Houston's Kara Willis is live from KDISD South Transportation site right now with a demonstration on how it all works. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, you guys. It's a great day to be here at KDISD as they talk about their new smart tax to kick off the school year. It's a way to give students and parents and staff here at KDISD that extra security as they board the bus. And joining me this morning, we've got Roy in the background. Wave, Roy. <laughs> and so I'm going to come up here with him and he's going to give us a walkthrough. I'm actually going to give you a start to this demonstration. When your kids get onto the bus, they'll be able to take their ID. And Roy, how do I do this? Scan it. Scan it right here. Scan it like that. In that case, it's an incorrect bus rider, so they're getting on the wrong bus because, of course, we're here at the terminal. We're not on the street. But that audible sound will let the driver know that the student is on the incorrect bus. And as well as when they get off the bus, if they're getting off at the incorrect stop, it will let, give the same audible notice and also let the driver know that the student is getting off at the incorrect stop. Okay, so Rory, earlier we were able to walk through the benefits of doing something like Smart Tax this school year. What else will Smart Tax be used for this school year? Will it be used for field trips or drills? Currently, we're working on routes. Once we get the kinks of the routes worked out, then we'll be utilizing it for field trips as well when they're going to football games and whatnot. But the major factor that we're looking for is that um, if we ever have any unfortunate event, that we ever have a reunification process, active shooter case, and we're trying to get students away from a campus, we can scan them on the tablet to, to see what bus they're on and what campus they're being brought to so parents can reunify with their student. Okay, and so is it also able to track how many students are on the bus at one time? Yes, ma'am. As you see on the top of the tablet, as students log on, it counts up, and it counts up to however many students are uh, legally allowed on the bus. Typically, we try and keep it under that uh, at least 50 or so to secondary students, maybe 60 or so to elementary students, but then as they get off, it'll also count down, which will also help the driver to let the driver make sure that they have all students unloaded on the bus and that no students are uh, less sleeping on the bus. Okay, and Rory, where can parents learn more, ask questions? What's the best route for that? Best thing to do is to go to KDISD website, click on the uh, bus, uh, click on transportation department um, page, and they can learn everything that they need to know about Smart Tag on there. Okay, awesome. Okay, so you can see me now. We're going to come up in our later hours this morning, so you don't want to miss it. We'll be able to walk you through that parent portal, how you can register your child. We'll walk you through that step-by-step -step process if you have any of those extra questions for this school year if you have a student in KDISD. Over to you guys. Yeah, my next big question is, yes. can I get replacement cards? Because my kids are going to lose them the first day. I'm sure they'll probably do it, but then after a while, if they lose them three or four times, they may be a charge. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know either. Yeah, know. maybe Kara can look into that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, speaking of which, let's talk about what's going on on our roads this morning.